Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. Will you check it out? The, the whole click the link thing worked. The 8F Drafter is free. Well, we'll see how many of these we can get. Can we get one on each character? We can get 17 of them? I don't know. I have no room. What's the difference between this and every other two-door, four-seat, six-figure coupe on the market, you ask? Well, dig down into the core stats and the answer is clear. More horses under the hood. More exhaust at the back. More road traffic fatalities. Fewer convictions and more angry bleats than from teen environmentalists. The drafter has it where it counts. I have to, have to concur. I thought we were going to get a completely cool custom thing with this. Like a custom paint job deal. Get it all custom. Let's order it. I know there's room in Office Garage 1. That's why I was working on all that. Sold. And if we go back to Tudor, after it has been sold, still free. Or is that, is that will that reset once it's delivered? It takes a while for these things to be delivered. Let's see where they put it. He would not go on camera with this. He did say, I think there's quite a bit of arson around. In fact, too much arson around. But that's what you get. Arson around, arson around, arson around. <laughs> and look what happens. Boom. No, it's not, it doesn't come customized. It's just plain. Ignore that car over there. That's for a future video. So here you have it. I don't have time right now to do much with it. We'll take it up chilly at some point, but first I want to see something else. The U.S. Postal Service, it's a postal service for me. We'll deliver your mail, rain or snow, happy as can be. Thank you very much. So if, uh, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. No, um, look at that. You can get one here, too. Pick a color of some nature. We should have, where did I put room on this character? Agency? There's room in the agency. Brandon, the all America city. Not American, America. All right, I kind of wanted the one that they were advertising. You know, that funky green color and all that and you Anything just I don't do? you just don't see it I don't know if that's a possibility either let's go right to respray primary color obviously it's a metallic and almost any color looks good on this card but how did they get whatever you desire technology and budget I, mean, I think it could be a gasoline green with a with a pearlescent, Maybe a green pearlescent. Not any of the blues, I don't think. If you can think it, I can do it. So now the only the only way I'm seeing this. Is maybe gasoline green, and then you go pearlescent. Lime might be it, but that's a little too green even compared to the picture. Can't believe we still haven't done enough stunts here. We can get we can get a lime green pearlescent. Making decisions is stressful. 
bright green. Maybe a yellow. Okay, do you do yellow might be it. Zooming in. Life is hard when you can have anything. That's a good start. But I think that I think the pearlescent that they've got on the car is a little bit brighter than that. Could be a straight up yellow. Like a race yellow that or I mean yellow that you could be that, but I think I think do yellow is probably about as close as we're gonna get. And now I gotta find the okay, hold on. So then you're looking at wheels is the next thing. What are the wheels? How many cars you got in this garage again? So a secondary color. What is the secondary? What should we do for the secondary? Which affects nothing if we don't put anything on it. Okay, so let's leave that as it is. Probably black. Roof. The car and the the thing had the. Uh, Think long and hard. Well, it has some. It has roof racks, and there's no roof rack. Like that's not a thing. We'll put the roof spoiler on, but. The driver. Yeah, they they have roof racks. Oh, roof accessories. There you go. So there is the roof rack. All right. She's got a good chassis on her. Let's do this in order. I'm going to miss something. Armor it up. Rather safe than sorry, I guess. Brakes. Bumpers. Did they have anything custom on the front bumper with this? Yes, they did. The one, yeah, the one they have... To recreate is the racing splitter one. So do you need a drink? Bubbles or we'll do that. Can't see the back. So it could be whatever you want it to be. This will go carbon diffuser just to match. Engine rev it up. Exhaust, we can't really tell. We'll just go wherever we like. Big bore seems, let's go race exhaust. Big bore seems a bit excessive. Really? I think. I need to go on carbon on this one. That was kind of their, their build hood. Not a carbon hood, but it's a vented hood of some nature. That's not oh, yeah, where is it? Is it that one? No. That's the one. That's the one from the picture. Horn, obviously we don't know. Um if lights, headlights, it, we'll give it xenons for now. Neon layout, front back sides. Nothing's gonna match this except, you know, well I don't know, can we give it? A do yellow color? <laughs> I doubt it. Lime green might be pretty close. We can go with lime green. There you go. We'll see if it clashes when we pull it out. Livery. Not really. This The car that they're selling doesn't have one, but that doesn't mean we can't be creative. We probably won't be, but we're going to go through them. Yeah, they're pretty wild but we're just going for the the build in the picture that's what we wanted Making mirrors yeah they went with a carbon mirror the custom mirrors on theirs and why wouldn't they why wouldn't they plate uh, we've got a 420 plate how can you not and a 357 listen never mix your 420 and your 357 okay that's that's never a good thing um, 
we leave it like that, or do we want to give it like an E. cola or a Sprite? How can you not give you Sprite? Baby's all grown up. Free spray, we're done. Roof, roof. Skirts. I think they left the skirts alone on this. Yeah, it's it's got stock, you know, stock skirts on. Oh no, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you look at the angle on that, does it have street skirts? It has to be street skirt. It comes out. There's a little bit of a wing there. I don't think it's car. Yeah, let's see. That's they're not carb. They're not carbon. So I don't know if those are black or not. The only problem with the street skirts is that it kind of like this looks goofy after a bit. It's how they have theirs, but stock. I guess stock is kind of doesn't flow real good either. I don't know if the skirts that they have exist. That still looks like it's a bit of piece of, of black plastic on the bottom. That's all carbon. The only way you get you match the color is completely to go with stock. We'll leave it stock. Spoiler, they have I think they have the GT spoiler on it. The grand, I, I don't usually go for wings that extend past. But we're doing a specific build. Your cosmetics are on point. Yeah, that's got to be the one they're using. Suspension in the weeds. Because why not? That's what the rest of the car is. That's the way, that would match the build. Super transmission. Turbo it up. And wheels. Wheel type. What is... Let's see, it's a five spoke. Is it a high end? We'll look at chrome because sometimes they have like the black ones in the chrome that match. That's no not, that's up. close. Stock rooms. That's in the stock rooms, the, the carbon inferno looks like it matches. To certain no yeah, there's a little bit of a of a I don't know. Is that just is that a silver ring in the wheel or is it just then why wouldn't the carbon inferno chrome match it? That doesn't really match. Let's, let's, look, let's continue to look. That might be it, but. Sport. No carbons in the sport. What about the SUVs? It could be just the way they have it rendered, but I think so far. Yeah, those all look too thick. Which would be better for handling, theoretically. Track. Quite the right shape. Now I think the only the, the closest thing we're gonna get is the carbon infernos. That's gotta be what it is. And then we go tires, tire design. That looks right. Actually, yeah, the tire design on the one there is the atomic is white on both sides, where it says white and red. So that's not quite right. But again, it's a rendering, so maybe 
That's a mistake. That's as close as we're gonna get there. We need a bulletproof. They're bulletproof. Tire smoke. We're gonna do lime green. We do lime green tire smoke? I don't think so. Leave the smoke on. Wind deflectors. Does this thing have wind deflectors on it? They do. There is a painted, I think it's got the painted wind deflector. Windows, theirs may have light smoke. I'm doing light smoke because that's a thing. Let's exit to ground. Let's see, hopefully, yeah, that's nice. That will show off the light. Now I'm gonna wait. You know, obviously, you'll be in this video, but I'm gonna wait until I can get hooked up with the. I don't know about the lime, the limelight. Do I want to be in the limelight? I guess it works. Yeah, it depends on whether you're, where you're catching the. Uh, what you call it? Do we want to give this like a, some kind of lime green headlights, which we can go down here. Because talking with Pankro Jones last time, he, he was asking me, you know, when I was going to build another car. That's, his, that's one of those things that changes the uh, direction of us. Because we're going to try RBS's uh, path down Gilead. You know, the, the, the full send. Because it seems almost physically impossible the way he does it. You know, it looks like if you try it, you just bounce repeatedly and die. And I think this might be a good car to try that with. The only other build I have planned probably won't be able we won't be able to do anything with it there, you know? I don't think I'll be I have to I have to see if I can modify the race so that we can allow it in. There's your hint. I think we can do. We can try the. the uh, look here. I think we can get the lime green for less in here. Woo! So that's going to delay the release on this a little bit because I mean you know, that's a lot to board. It's hard for me to get caught up with them on the regular. Plus I want to try that. I have to, I have to watch some RBS videos and see how he does that. It could just follow Pankro, but it's a thing that we wanted to do. And my vehicle is G. I think I think from here you can get to everything. So if I go to lights, headlights, yeah. Like blue, mint green, lime green. So we've got lime green headlights. Now if we go to neon kits, it's like so the next thing is that, that matches up. So if we go to respray, primary pearlescent, if we change that That doesn't it doesn't let you do here. It has to be in the auto shop that lets you get unlocked paint. Hmm. Does it make a difference though? I mean, it ties in a little bit better. With the lime on lime. That matches. 
That matches the picture better, though. Of course, they're not doing it all lined up. It should be better. Well, that's going to take some work. Because I think my auto shop's full. Just one short week, I drove this baby from ten cars, two motorcycles, and a mobile home. And I owe it all to Ray Charles. No relation. That's right. I went from hanging out at truck stops to driving through truck stops. And it only took me one short week. All right. The first thing we're going to look at is Pancro's run, because he was kind enough to send me some footage of one of his runs. There were, there were multiple. The exact same thing happened to me. Only oh, he's was less stuck. He's looking for me there. This is this is him waiting for me to come around. Like, all right, he'll he'll come down, and then you'll see how that went later on. I think this is his first run. Okay, looking at his run, I can see some things that I did wrong on mine later on. But, for as rough as that looks, yeah, you're going you're gonna to want to prepare yourself. Almost got stuck there, but got it free. Cuts across the axis. Yeah, it looks like smooth sailing the rest of the way down. around the trees yeah that's that's pretty smooth and then later he comes back for me this is this is not our last run Oh, I think this is where we were talking. I think I was actually behind him at this point and say, hey, you want to go again? And he's like, yeah, sure, why not? No relation. Okay, so now that you've seen Pancro Jones' run, which he is very critical of, he sent it to me. He's like, well, this could be a lot smoother. It's, it's not like, you know. We did, we're attempting to recreate something that RBS does on runs that set world records for GFRED. It's basically impossible, is what he's saying here. And we don't achieve what he's achieved. We, there's going to be a lot of practice here. If we ever want to achieve it. And Packard Jones and I have limited opportunities to get into actual G Freds. You know, into the stream G Freds. But the trick of the matter here is that Pancro Jones' run, for as critical as he may be for how it went, is light years ahead of mine. Oh, oh, the disaster you're about to watch. I don't want to spoil the surprise. The car looks nice, though, doesn't it? That looks like the one that they were gonna, they were trying to sell when they said, click the link. Love the 420-357 license plate. Remember, don't mix those two. Now watch this. I hit almost the exact same point with much different results. See, I was going straight across the river. He kind of angled across it and landed smoothly, whereas I was trapped completely. I try to do it his way. Yeah, it bounces me before I get there. I don't even make the jump. I'm like, all right, this is... Let me explain to him why I'm now way behind. Did not go well. No. I have time because I'm totally stuck behind the train. River landing? Yeah, I got caught in the rocks. Yep, yep, yep. 
Right now what I'll do, just, just so that I'm not cruel, is I'm going to speed up this part of the, uh, the video. And all right, we're finally, finally out from behind the train here. And now we begin the true Chiliad ascent here with the 8 after after. With a couple of comments. Number one, it hates bushes. It really, it hits a bush, it goes, just starts rotating. It's really weird. It seems a bit twitchy. Bouncy and twitchy, and it could be because I have the lowest suspension on it. I mean, that could be a, a thing we might want to experiment with if we we're really going to be doing G Freds in the 8F Drafter a lot. It doesn't come up very often. See how that, that bush just sent me flying? It's a hardy little bush. But the Drafter's got the grip and the power that it needs, that combination of, just to climb right back up. But also, it, it's a bouncy boy. It's you know, it's almost reminiscent to some cases of the, the GTO, the Italian GTO, where it's just ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, uh. can kind of it can kind of change direction willy nilly uh, on this surface. I don't think it really happens to you on the road. But if you're taking this off road, you, know, you gotta be aware. It's it's a bouncy boy. Would you really be taking an Audi up this tra this trail anyway? I mean. I guess if you're really, really rich and you just don't mind destroying an Audi, because that's that's pocket change for you or something like that, well then, yeah, fine. But So I guess it's accurate, but I mean, as far as if you were stuck with this in a G-Fred, oh dear. See, that probably could use a little bit better brakes, too. I was trying to stop, but... Kind of drive forward and go against the grain and just heated the thing. And so now, Pancro Jones, that was the part where you saw him look back to me, and then I was starting to come down, and then he went. Yeah, this is how this went from here on out. Now, this is the same part of the video you saw from Pancro Jones's perspective. He's already gone. I don't know what I'm doing. That's full brakes. That's just falling. That's banging into trees. All right, well... Let's try to, to go down this way. Maybe this is the... I just really full send it. Go for the yeet. Yeet for the street. No, I didn't yeet for the street. I yeet for the rocks. Just when you get here, just, just keep yeeting. Just keep throwing the thing around. Trying to get it down the hill. Use as much gravity as you can without exploding. And that was a particularly good yeet, I thought. I did save some time, I think, from where I'd lost it previously. And now, as you can see, I'm only that far behind Pancro Jones, so I had a much uglier run. And, uh, uh, oh, wow. Uh, uh. Uh, no. Uh, ow, ow, ow. Uh. I was going to lose the door, but the door stayed on, so that was good. It's always good when the door stays on. See, he said that was worse than expected, and his was a lot smoother than mine, which I had more airtime, perhaps. But definitely a lot of just high speed bouncing down the rocks, and he got out there first. And right about here is just about where the his video that he provided ended. And of course, he really, he ends up really taking me under his wing here. I'm bumping him from trying to stay so close. Then I got stuck here. He's stuck on rocks, can't get away. Where'd he go? I don't know. 
Where is... Where is he? Where do I go? Pankro, don't leave me. I'm lost. I tried to go up that jump, and then this happened. Just rolling. Rolling and falling and falling. And there goes the door. Just rolling and crashing and wrecking. And I'm falling down the mountain from missing the, the turn. Reset. Wait for me! He says, I'll show you, you poor simple bastard. No, no, he didn't say that part, but... Can't stop, can't stop. The brakes are, are not the greatest, necessarily. Okay, so drive over this bush slowly. Good advice always, you know, it's... He's, around, he's pointing all the points out to me here. Foolishly, I get back in the car. This is not a good idea. I don't know why I was saying wow with the bush. I don't remember my thought process. Then go here. Okay, so I was trying to launch off this little ramp to there. That's not it. Brakes, brakes, brakes. I should have gotten out of the car here. And then go left past that rock. Tell me how I did not pay attention to what was going to happen here. I can't keep the car, car steady. So what did I think was going to happen? I tried to type back. Just left of the rock. Off here. You know, I'm looking with my headlights. Okay, up there. Okay. Jocularity is about to... to uh, ensue. Prepare for jocularity. I go to type. That was me trying to hit the brakes while typing. And then over braking and then reversing out of there. And just falling down the mountain. Yep, that's that's been kind of the theme for this one. Is me just falling down the mountain in this thing. So now we're trying again. Trying to roll down. Okay, there it is. He said it's impossible. I'm inclined to agree. I'm definitely inclined. But this is not the world record way to get down the hill. But G for its spirit. I'm just gonna go full yeet. Don't care. Upside down. Right side up, barrel roll, topsy turvy, scrapey scrapey. Glad I put the roof racks on. So I guess we're trying this again. What the heck am I even doing? What the heck am I? I don't even know what happened there. I couldn't even begin to tell you. Going the wrong way down. I don't think the neon green lights are helping me. 
a little, a little less effective than what you might expect. I think he's ahead of me. Turns out he's behind me. He's he waiting on me. Oh, goodness me, oh, my, oh. How it doesn't explode. Again. Practice makes perfect, except I'm going down the wrong side of the mountain. There we go. Aim it. No. Still wrong. Come on. I've got to figure out a better way to get off of that when you respawn. I just... It must be noted that I'm also, while doing this, still using my old monitor, which is really bleak here. I mean, the contrast is not great. I do have a new one on order as I'm recording this. Staples had a sale. It was like 60 bucks off, so woohoo! I just went down normally. That means that I have permission to stop dying over and over again. If I could just get myself unyeeted. Oh dear, that wasn't a good idea. This this trash. Oh yeah, that's right. He said, I just went down normally. I'm going down very abnormally. And none of that sounds good. Sounds like too much information here, but we're just going to move on and ignore all the aspects of that. I think that definitely qualifies as going down abnormally. I thought about putting some Bruce Springsteen in here. But I figured, you know, if anybody was going to probably copyright the heck out of you block, it'd probably be the boss. So you can, you can put, if you want, you can do that yourself. You know, pull up another YouTube window and play, play Springsteen. Going down, 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 down. I'm going down. Okay. We're almost there. Oh, having some Murgatroyd. Alright, that's it. Ugh. That was exhausting. Okay, let us move ahead. Boop. Hello. How is this possible? Oh. It's a friendly moment. That moment when you're both done falling off the mountain, and now you just have to avoid being hit by the train. I pulled out ahead. I don't believe that last. Even though we're in identical cars, because I did, there is the dismount coming up. It doesn't seem to be one to like riding the rails very much. At least not in my hand. But hey, at least we're at least we're clearing the, the bridges here. So. We're, and we're not yeeting ourselves into a river of some nature. Almost. Almost. And dismount. Not the cleanest dismount. And then hitting cars.
But at least the worst of it is over. We're just gonna go back and... And they try to make it the rest of the way here. That was a pretty smooth jump right there. I expected that to be yeeted sky high. I was kind of anticipating that, but it did look, hey, this was, I'll take I'll take good performance whenever I can. At some point I'll have to show you exactly how dark it is on my screen. Maybe I'll take some video with my phone. Put that in at the end so you can see what I'm looking at. Until I get the new monitor. Kaboom. Almost, baby. Let's, let's bring it home. Ooh! Messy ending to a messy race. Wow. So the answer to your question, dear viewer, is yes, it will go up and down Chiliad. But is it a good choice for the ultra, the ultra send it, the full send. Maybe not. Maybe you need something a little different for the full send. Might not be the thing you need for that. And we pop out here and we do the usual, you know. As I recall, I got separated from Pankro at this point. He's in a completely different session. But I still bring it over here and we'll pop the doors. If I'm not completely confused. There you go. Whip, whip. See that opened through me on that. Yeah, it's a pretty standard engine model. I think you've seen it before. Not a bad interior if you can see it. It is dark. There, Pankro is sending me another uh, another multiplayer invite. And so that meant it was time to wrap it up for this video. As it is here. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Yeah, that's about that's about the pull I was getting off of this monitor. It's a, it's a little bit. Even that's not really. I think the con the camera is trying to compensate as much as it can. Yeah, it looks better on the the phone than it does. On the TV. Only a little bit, though. Better days are coming. Arsenal round.